What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of From the Tips. Today's video, I know I already did a review on this club, but in the past couple weeks, there's been a little bit of buzz in the news about uh, this product. And uh, so, as some of you guys might know, during the British Open, Bryson DeChambeau, who's a giant spokesman, he's an ambassador for Cobra Puma Golf, um, went on a post-round uh, interview and just completely bashed Cobra, saying that the driver sucked. So I'm out here today. Let's just see how badly this driver actually sucks. That one was hit pretty good, so. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so Bryson in a post round interview, obviously was a little frustrated with the way he was playing. Um, but he decided to completely blame his equipment for the way he was playing. And this irked me a lot. Um, I wasn't even gonna post about it, but I'm probably a little bit late to the party now, but I feel like I just need to kind of air what exactly I'm thinking about what's going on with Bryson and uh, what better way to do it than a little from the tips review video. And let's see how badly this club sucks. So we all know Bryson, the uh, the scientist. He likes to tamper a lot with his clubs. He likes to tinker. Um, he likes to do different things. He uses single length irons, uh, he uses an arm lock putter. And obviously he's going to the gym, he's getting bigger, he's getting stronger. His club head speed's increasing dramatically. So Cobra's been needing to develop a driver where he can withstand his ball speed, club head speed, um, and give him the launch conditions and different things like that that he needs. So clearly Bryson is not happy with the way Cobra is kind of treating this project, I guess, um, claiming that the miss hits aren't good, um, that he's unable to hit a draw with the driver. So this kind of thing just kind of frustrated me a little bit. So I need to talk about it because I don't think Bryson, the scientist, knows the physics behind what they're doing to his clubs and how that actually affects his ball flight. So let's talk about it, Bryson. But sorry guys, got back to the house. Um, this video is gonna kind of jump around a little bit, but more things just keep coming to mind that uh, kind of frustrate me that I need to express. So I'm gonna do so. Uh, just Bryson, he's swinging the club like 135, 140 miles an hour, whatever it is now. Um, obviously your goal is to hit the ball as far as possible. So Cobra's job was to make a driver that you hit as far as possible. And you were loving it on the range. You're signed the contract. You, you want to be with this manufacturer. You're their spokesperson. And I'm the last person to ever criticize clubs because I every golfer does it. You hit a bad shot, like, oh, it can't be you. It has to be the driver. But in your case, you're a professional golfer. These clubs are built to your specs every single week, and you're the last person to kind of give the checkoff on it. You know what I mean? Like, you're putting the club into play. In this case, the Open Championship, the British Open, I'm sorry that you lost. I'm sorry, but you just simply lost that right to criticize your clubs. All right, you signed the contract, um, and you're putting the club into play that has been fitted to your specs every single week. You're constantly working with this company to build this driver to the specs that you want, and I'm sorry that you're unhappy with where you're at right now, as far as the club's ability. But talking about miss hits and stuff like that, like, person, you have to understand that, like, you're swinging at 135 miles an hour. Your miss hits are going to be significantly higher 
than someone who's swinging at a slower speed more within themselves. And I know that's like an old kind of head way of thinking, but like these are your options. Your options are either slow down your swing and focus on hitting the middle of the face more, then you're gonna show that you're gonna be a lot more accurate that way, or just stop your bitching, honestly, because you're swinging 135 miles an hour. You have to understand that miss hits are gonna happen, okay? And there's no magic club out there. There's no such thing as a driver that maximizes your distance and maximizes forgiveness as well. It's two opposite ends of the spectrum. If you wanna meet somewhere in between, and have a little bit of forgiveness with a little bit of distance, that's doable. And honestly, I think the Cobra Rad Speed is probably the closest driver to doing that. It's the closest driver that has a good amount of distance and a good amount of forgiveness. And I know you're using a prototype or whatever, five degrees, whatever, you're trying to hit as far as you can, but know that miss hits are gonna happen. So those are your two options. And honestly, for you blaming your equipment, it's it just comes across as so weak. And it's just so unlikable. And um, I don't know. I think I speak for a lot of people when I say I'm someone that wanted to root for you. You know what I mean? And it sucks that you're going out there and just blaming your equipment. It just looks like a weak move. And uh, yeah. Hmm. That's weird. That ball drew a little bit. Actually, it kind of hooked. Thing must be broken because this driver, this driver isn't supposed to draw. Don't you know that? And before you guys even start saying it. I know Bryson uses a prototype Cobra driver, so it's not the exact same rad speed that you'd pick up off the rack, um, but it is still Cobra's newest driver. So, and he's still the face of their company. He still is responsible for selling the most stuff that Cobra has. So, I mean, is it a good look that your number one athlete is talking crap about the products that you're putting out? I, mean, I don't think so and the thing that gets me about Bryson is he comes across and he tries to be this super intellectual you know what I mean like he's trying to almost outsmart the game he's trying to put all these things into place single length iron single plane swing um, pretty much make himself into a robot and he just fails to grasp the fact that he's trying to hit the ball so far. So he's swinging at an insane, insane amount of speed. So what Cobra is trying to do is to obviously maximize his distance. So with his driver, they're going to be putting a lot of the mass right behind the face. So you're going to raise the center of gravity forward or bring the center of gravity forward, which is going to reduce spin. And that's going to allow you to hit the ball the furthest. But Consequently, what that's gonna do is it's also gonna reduce the amount of forgiveness. So as you guys can see in kind of just for, for example, for Cobra drivers, the rad speed has a lot of weight forward and that's gonna reduce spin. It's gonna be the further hitting driver and less spinning driver, but it's also gonna be the less forgiving one. If you want to hit something like, let's say the, the Rad XB, the Rad XB has a lot of weight in the back super forgiving driver, super easy to get the ball up in the air, a little bit higher spinning. So you're gonna hit it more accurately, but not quite as far. What Bryson's saying is he wants it both ways, which is just impossible. So another thing that Bryson's saying is that the newer drivers, like the modern day driver, is harder to hit a draw. And to some extent, he has a point. So for him specifically, so he plays a five degree driver, which I assume is probably a six or a seven degree driver cranked down to five. I doubt they just have a five degree head lying around or a five degree head that they made for them. So what happens when you decrease the loft on a driver is that the driver ends up actually sitting a little bit open. 
So that's gonna be create a more fade bias to the driver. But also when you crank the loft down, it's gonna make the driver play more upright, which is also gonna produce a fade um, bias as well. So Bryson does have a point with this, but there's plenty of other players on tour that hit draws. So, I mean, honestly, kind of a lame excuse. It still comes down to like, obviously the face is gonna be slightly open because you're decreasing the loft, but that means you just have to turn it a little bit more in order to get a closed club face. It doesn't affect path. The only thing that affects path, I guess, might be the upright lie, but even still, I mean, like I said, there's tons of players on tour that do it. This is a 10 and a half that's gonna be cranked down to nine degrees. So I don't think I'm gonna have a problem hitting a draw. Perfect. So the majority of this video is going to be satirical. Obviously, I know Bryson was angry at the time. He didn't really mean to blame his equipment, but in doing so, I don't think he realized how much of an effect it actually has. I mean, I feel like it affects like people in the golf industry, like myself personally, because I work in a pro shop and I'm partially responsible. Part of my job is to sell equipment and if you carry a bunch of stock Cobra drivers in your shop, how do you expect anyone to want to buy something that someone that's paid millions of dollars to play their equipment doesn't even want to play? It's just a bad look for Cobra. It's a bad look for Bryson. He looks like a giant baby in this entire thing. Um, and it's just bad for golf, to be honest. I mean, this company's paying you millions of dollars, paying your entry fees, and you're just gonna disrespect them like that. It's it's just absurd. And to make matters worse about everything is that this Cobra driver is actually really good. <laughs> like, it's that's the most annoying part. Like. If you were to talk about like a different brand, a brand that doesn't perform as well, all right, I can see he has a point. But the fact that he's talking about Cobra, that a bunch of channels have done comparison videos with Cobra and other brands of driver, and they either beat them outright or they're very, very close. And guess what? Cobra is offering one of the cheapest prices for a top-notch driver on the market. Everyone else is charging over $500. For the Cobra Rad Speed, it's like 450. Obviously, 50 bucks isn't like a huge deal, but 10%, save 10% on a driver, I would say if you're not giving up that much performance, I'd say that's a pretty goddamn good deal. So, I don't know, if I was Cobra, it's a tough spot, because I don't know exactly what I would do. Obviously, this guy is one of the best players in the world. He's won a major last year. Uh, he's constantly in contention. Like obviously the guy's really, really good. He's responsible for selling a lot of your stuff like I already talked about. But if he's just openly bashing your company and your guys are bending over backwards to build him these prototypes, if he doesn't even acknowledge it, all, all the hard work that those guys are putting in, those guys and girls are putting in, then um, I wouldn't blame Cobra if they dropped him and that would be a huge move in the golf industry just to see what company would pick them back up and how cobra would kind of do after that i have a feeling this is going to hurt cobra for a, for a while um because people don't forget stuff like that um there was a quote back i think it was in like the early 2000s talking about um tiger using nike clubs and phil mickelson made a comment like, imagine what he'd be doing if he was playing other equipment. And Tiger came immediately to Nike's defense. And that saved Nike a lot. Nike made a ton of sales in the early 2000s because of Tiger Woods. But also because he defended it. For someone that's going out on a limb for a company that's paying them millions of dollars and saying that their product sucks, that is a terrible, terrible look. And I think Cobra actually needs to look at it. Um, 
it's just not someone you want representing your company. And I don't know, I used to be a huge Bryson fan, but over the past couple months, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, to be honest, Brooks Kepka, I think does it right. And I'm not a big fan of what Brooks Kepka does on Twitter, all the petty stuff he says about Bryson and stuff like that. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about he doesn't have any club endorsements. And I know that's not possible for a lot of people. Like, if you need the club endorsements, you need the money, then obviously that's different. But Kepka plays um, different companies depending on what they do best. You know what I mean? Like, he had a tailor-made driver for a while. I'm not sure what he has in the bag now. Mizuno irons, Titleist wedges. He jumps around all over the place because he wants to use what's best for his game. And he doesn't fall into the trap of using a company's product. Like, if Bryson were to find a driver that he absolutely loved from Callaway, he's under contract with Cobra, so he can't even do anything about it. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I think, I think players are going to start to slowly push back and and move away from club contracts just because I think it handcuffs you in the end. Like a person like Bryson, who's obviously trying to transform the game and transform himself a ton. Cobra was good for him when he first started, but at the end of the day, I don't know if Cobra is even right for him right now. I just don't think it's a good match. The two companies or the two entities together, I just don't think it's going to be able to end well. Um, I think Bryson's trying to do too much with his body and is a constant pursuit of perfection and I don't think Cobra's gonna be up to par to keep up with him so I don't know I could easily see them uh, parting ways very soon and to be honest guys like Cobra's taken a huge step forward the last couple years with their woods their woods the past couple years have been like top of the line, right up there with TaylorMade, right up there with Callaway, Titleist, whatever you want to say, yeah, they're right up there. And with Bryson making these comments, I can't help but think that they just took a giant step backwards. Now they're going to be kind of muddled in the middle again. All right, guys, so just got back to the car. It's gonna conclude today's video. Wasn't trying to make a really long video, just played four holes. Um, hit, end up hitting three out of four fairways, finished one under. So, um, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't meant to be just a direct jab right at Bryson. It was more so, um, I don't know, just to express that the Cobra driver is actually a good driver um, and that don't, don't think ab about Bryson's performance as a direct indication on the driver's performance. The driver is really, really solid. Bryson clearly had a bad day, was a little frustrated, and decided to let that out on Cobra, a uh, company that pays him millions of dollars. So don't know why he did that. Um, I want to like the guy. I really do. Um, he's changing the game, and that goes without question. But, God, some of the things he does sometimes just... It just frustrates me. So I um, felt the need to kind of express my opinion here. Um, if you guys didn't like the video, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just something definitely different, but it's not something that comes up all the time. So I felt the need to post about it. If you guys did like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Until next time, guys. Peace.